Hello and welcome to the first tobacco review that I have done in probably over a year. Yeah, uh, it's been a long time since then. I've changed the name of my channel and tried to drift away from doing tobacco reviews. But I do not monetize my channel. I don't give a shit about YouTube. I'm going to do what I want. And I like tobacco. Okay? I'm like that guy that was added to the Supreme Court. I like beer. I like beer. I like beer too. But I like tobacco. And there's already enough bearded white dudes with no hair that are doing beer reviews on YouTube. And I just don't need any more of that. So, what am I reviewing today? Esoterica's Margate. Obviously, it's a bootleg edition. And uh, I got this from Martin at Over a Pipe. If you're not familiar with Martin, I'm, he's got more followers than me. Like, who am, I, who am I advertising for at this point? It's like, the dude does a live feed every Friday night which is pretty awesome, where you can gamble and win some stuff and possibly, possibly, if you call in, get free samples sent to your house because he's the Scarface of the YTPC. That fire is really going. All right. So... First impressions, when I open the bag. <sighs> okay, it's in English, but it almost smells more like a Turkish. I have several Turkish blends that I enjoy. And I, I, the first time I smelled it, there's a little bit of Latakia, a little bit. Smells some Oriental, okay. Not to be racist or anything, but I think there's some Oriental in here. And, uh, yeah. It's it's very smooth. That's one thing that I've been enjoying about this. Alright, some other things I have noticed. It burns cool. Long. I've been smoking this for well over half an hour now, and uh, I think I'm finally reaching the bottom of the bowl. I have to say one of the more subtle things I like about this tobacco is it's almost got like a creamy flavor underneath everything. It's just easy to smoke. And being in a cabin like this, the, the room note, that's going to stick around. <laughs> Which, uh, let's see here. If I was to compare it to other English blends, well, let's see here. Lately, I've been enjoying Squadron Leader, and, um, that one, that one burns really fast. It's more of a shag. Also tends to burn hotter than uh, most English blends that I've tried in the past. So, but I can see why people would buy this if they found it. Does it justify the price? Well, that's just simple economics. If you like it and the price is right for you, sure, go ahead. If you're a cheap bastard like me, hmm. If I came across it, I'd probably buy it. It's not something that I would hunt for, like uh, I know a lot of other people do. 
And hey, that's their thing. You know what? I get it. There's somebody who also collects things. Like typewriters. <laughs> I'm kind of envious and jealous because they can go out and collect their tobacco and enjoy it and smoke it and store it. And it doesn't take up as much space and it doesn't weigh as much. And as a collector, hell, half the fun is the hunt, isn't it? I just don't like sitting behind the computer hunting stuff. Because when we finally do find that first edition hardcover of uh, Typhoid Mary by Anthony Bourdain, and you see the price of $4.99, you quickly realize that's not the buy it now price. That's, that's the first bid on a seven day auction. I'm not spending $300 on that book. Well, considering I opened this bag and there's no way for me to reseal it and there really isn't anything else for me to... Oh, I do have some small jars. I was planning on just smoking the rest of this, which would kind of suck because uh, I wouldn't have that first hit experience of uh, crack... I mean, tobacco, like I did earlier. I guess now I get to, so that's pretty awesome. Now I can go back to being depressed because uh, and I'm probably going to go back to half and half. <sighs> oh well, you know, when, when the finer things in life come your way, wasn't it Gribbly who said something like, if that was the best meal of your life, why wouldn't you just eat that way all the time? Well, because when you go to the French Laundry and your bill with you and your friends comes out to $400,000, Governor Newsom, um, could you really afford to do that every freaking day? And here's my current issue with um, tobaccos like this. This is a fine tobacco. It's very enjoyable. It's something that I would probably reserve for a special occasion. However, how many freaking tobaccos do I have sitting here in tins, in jars, stored away, where I'm like, that would be good for a special occasion. Which is why I end up smoking this, because I'm like, do I really want to crack open that tin of Frog Morton Cellar that I have sitting there because I'll never be able to smoke it again? It's the end of the world. Who gives a shit? You know what I miss? I miss the days where the tobaccos that we enjoyed, like Frog Morton, uh, the original Nightcap, uh, the original Morning Blend, all the different things that disappeared over the last couple of years because of stupid laws and people creating regulations that they have no business creating. I miss the days when you could just go online, buy that like it was your everyday smoke, and you didn't have to worry about, am I ever going to be able to find this again? Those days are gone, so I guess you just have to enjoy it while you can. Or just, you know, watch the cherry burn out and... Ooh. Now I'm kind of getting the room notes. Hold on. It almost has like a woody... Mmm. No. No, not Woody. Mmm. Now it's gone. Hmm. Anyways, Esoterica, Margate, if you enjoy Turkish 
Oriental uh, English blends. It, this is a, a great mixture. There really isn't anything over overpowering anything else. There's it, they take turns coming to the forefront. It's an experience. Now I'm going to be stalking Martin's channel trying to figure out where I can get more. Thanks for watching. Keep on typing.